Okay, thank you very much. Um, can you just put that back to where it was, please? You're sneaking, you're sneaking. I was told I could say that this is a peek behind the curtain, a brief look at risk management and how it extends beyond the paid workplace. Cumberland Gang Show is an amateur musical variety show that entertains around 5,000 people each year at Parramatta Riverside Theatre in Sydney. We have a cast of 160 young people ranging from the ages of 7 through to uh, 30 years old, with the bulk of them, 60% of them, under the age of 14. We also have a, car, a crew and made up of uh, around 250 people with welfare, production and technical teams to bring the show together. We are an activity under the New South Wales Scout Association and as such we have uh, specific risk management strategies that we need to put in place to protect our people. And as a result of that we have uh, a few challenges we need to consider and that is we are working in a professional theatre environment with limited resources and also understanding we have a 100% volunteer cast and crew that we need to look after under the New South Wales Work Health and Safety Regulations. We have some strengths though. We are a training and education organisation. We have mentoring, regular toolbox talks and safety inductions to ensure that important information is passed on to our cast and crew. But what about some of the tasks we need to undertake? We need to create large sets to dress our stage and we incorporate carpentry, electrical and painting skills into that process. There's also a mighty lot of sewing done and that is because we need to create around 3,000 costumes for our show each year. So there are a large, uh, large organisation of people and tasks to en enable that to happen. So then the next thing we need to consider is when we move to the theatre. We have manual handling we need to consider, noise, cold and heat, just to name a few. With regard to ma manual handling, that's a bit of an issue when we have to uh, arrange large sets, move them in and out of our theatre environment and set them up. I know I've presented on noise in the past, but for our 25 strong musicians in our orchestra pit, I've measured noise in the past over a two-hour performance and normalised over an eight-hour day. And those exposures were actually quite high. We can see here that the trumpet player at 91 is incredibly high when averaged over that eight-hour day. But what have we done since these measurements have been undertaken? We have now actually removed the orchestra from the pit and placed them at the rear of the stage where the noise is somewhat dissipated, but I do need to do some measurements just to make sure. Also, some of the um, musicians, I'm pleased to say, are now wearing more hearing protection to look after their and conserve their hearing in the future. What about some of the visual effects that you see in stage performances? This low-lying fog effect looks absolutely stunning and it's created by plunging dry ice into boiling hot water. And we do that in an enclosed stainless steel container and that's to prevent the possibility of hot and cold burns, particularly when we're working in low light conditions side of stage when the show is actually running. We also need to fly some of those sets that we've created. And our, our sets are actually counterbalanced with weights and these is uh, manually operated in our fly tower. We also have to put some other pretty substantial equipment into our fly tower. And last year we actually put a video screen that was two and a half tonnes worth of equipment into the fly tower and you can see it being constructed here. We also have, can see also some of the other equipment that's uh, used as we set up the stage. We also have to fly some other unusual things for our show. And to prevent falling objects we actually have incorporated steel instead of timber uh, which has introduced welding and grinding tasks for our set construction people. And that's just a few of the things in the spotlight at, in terms of hazards at the theatre. They also range from electrical through to fatigue. Now fatigue is an interesting one because on two days of our performance season we actually perform three shows. And on the second of those days then we spend a couple of hours bumping out of the theatre completely. So just a brief look so you can imagine what risk management is like as it extends beyond the paid environment. Yet we succeed. And that's because we have good teamwork, planning, coordination and communication. And the result is stunning. 
we give our young people an opportunity to be a star on stage and to entertain our people and in the audience members. And I'd like to invite you to come and see our show next July.